me up for teeth like these. Ooh, and seven eyes and laser vision. From monstrous adult jokes to an invisible hot man, this movie is packed with many hidden references and Easter eggs that you might have missed. Like always, we did all the digging so you do not have to. What? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a death trap. <sighs> yeah. So sit tight as we reveal everything you might have missed while watching the fourth and final Hotel Transylvania movie, Transformania. Uh, <laughs> Drac? The sun won't fry you now. You're human, remember? It's totally safe. Happy anniversary. Here's to Hotel Transylvania, celebrating 125 years! This film starts off with the 125th anniversary celebration of Dracula's Hotel. In the sequence, we see that Dracula's secret plan to retire and leave the hotel in the hands of Mavis and Johnny is not so secret anymore. Dracula is concerned about Johnny's clumsiness and what it would mean for the hotel, while Johnny is already excited at the prospect. Johnny organizes a performance, and somewhere in the middle of this is an adult joke you might not have caught. In this scene, the werewolf kids make an appearance on the stage, holding up letter cards that spell happy anniversary. Unfortunately, one of them stumbles, affecting the rest of the group. They get up immediately and hold up the letter cards again, only now it spells very fine as. You might want to assume the word is Phineas, an unpopular male name, but the crucial space between the E and the A doesn't add up to that. So when the last wolf gets up and adds the letter S to the mix, it then spells very fine ass. You see it, right? Thankfully, Dracula quickly saves the day by freezing everyone and rearranging the letters to a kid-friendly and original phrase. Now you can give the hotel to Mavis and me, just like you wanted! <gasps> oh my gosh! Mavis! She's gonna love the new me! The evil details. Johnny did all of this for you. He was trying to make this day special. Oh, you mean by ruining my carefully planned party. At the party, there are so many tiny details that you would miss if you weren't watching with a keen eye. First, in the scene where Dracula freezes time and looks down at Mavis, you'll notice that there are many axes and prongs on the table instead of good old cutlery. Now take a look at those salt and pepper pots on the table in this shot. If you think that these pots are nothing more than an odd and creepy thematic design, then you are very wrong. They look an awful lot like Iron Maiden torture devices from the Middle Ages. Don't want to take our word for it? Take a closer look, and you'll notice the tiny spikes on top and the anguished faces that give the pepper pots away. This mini prototype is casually snuck into this film, but it references the fact that even humans can be monsters too, something that would literally come into play later in this movie. Have, Have you, you seen, seen your dad? dad? Huh? No, I haven't seen him since the party. The Professor's Plane. The monstrification ray, it turns any human into a monster. In the scene where Dracula lies to Johnny that he cannot inherit the hotel as a human, Johnny goes out to sit with Professor Van Helsing, who tries to comfort him and offer him a solution. His exact words were, I can help with that. I've got just the thing down in my lab. Well, he isn't wrong. This guy has everything in his lab. When Johnny follows him to the lab, we see so many weird and unusual things. There is a giant robot outfit, a huge dinosaur skeleton, a humanoid skeleton preserved in a jar, and even an old diving suit. Johnny even trips in some items while finding his way around the lab. While we can't imagine why he could possibly need to hoard all of these odd things, we did notice that on the ceiling there's a replica of the plane he had used to hunt Dracula down in the Hotel Transylvania 3. Are the sounds of nature soothing? <laughs> Wayne's Renegade Dance. It's, uh, uh, you know, if you do, then, uh, then she will want to come with us. And, uh, and I was thinking. Dracula has accidentally turned into a human, and he is determined to hide this transformation from Mavis. He enlists the help of the other monsters, who would eventually do a bad job of it. They do what they can, though, as in this scene, they attempt to distract Mavis with Wayne's new dance moves. We couldn't help but notice that the routine he tries to perform is one that must have been inspired by a real life TikTok dance challenge. This viral dance challenge is the Renegade's Dance, and it was started by a TikTok user. Jeliah Harmon. He trips and falls at the end of his routine, but we still manage to catch the reference. Still, on the topic of social media stars, not everyone knows that a social media star makes an appearance in this movie. Popular Twitch streamer Tyler Blevins, aka Ninja, voices the party monster character, and he sure came through with those dance moves. Dad? Is that you? Yeah, isn't it great? I gotta go show your mom. <laughs> The Secret, Hot Invisible Man. He's okay, he's okay, just a, a little too much sugar. Whoa! One can argue that the biggest thing that happens in this movie is that Dracula and the rest of the squad get to become human. This is an all aftermath of Johnny accepting help from Professor Van Helsing. The professor turns him into a monster using a crystal device, and we all see how that eventually affects everyone else, including Griffin, the Invisible Man. Everyone, including the viewers, were shocked to see a tall middle-aged man with balding orange hair. Over the years, the Hotel Transylvania franchise fans have often theorized Griffin to be attractive. So 
we were not surprised by the outrage after fans got to see him for the first time in the trailer. There was even a viral petition that Liana Cluet started to this effect. In her words, so, huh, I just saw the trailer of Hotel Transylvania 4 and the movie seems really cool as usual, but what's with Griffin? I thought he'd be hot. We all did. We had such high hopes for him. So please, 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 give us a hot Griffin. A tall and nerdy curly-haired boy. Matthew Grey Goobler style. Not a want, but a need. This petition gathered over 35,000 signatures, but didn't really change much as production still went on to release the movie, with Griffin looking the same. They did sneak in an attractive version of Griffin, though. That is only for viewers quick enough to catch it. In the scene where everyone is in the crystal cave to find the crystal that can undo everything and make them monsters again, whenever any of the characters pass one of the giant crystals, viewers can see the reflection of the characters. While the others have a similar reflection, we notice that Griffin's reflection is slightly hotter than he really is, as he notably has a head full of hair. It is a blink and you miss it moment, so we are not surprised that viewers didn't catch it. Hey Frank, relax. It's not a contest. <laughs> More Helsing details. I cannot believe that my whole life I have missed this elegant splendor. In the scene where Professor Van Helsing is using the crystal device to turn Johnny into an uncontrollable monster, you would notice a giant circle of stone behind him. If you take a closer look, you will see that a tentacled monster is engraved on the stone. This is kind of a reference to the Kraken and the Professor uses to attack Dracula in Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. Remember how he hypnotized the Kraken and used him to wreak havoc? This also mirrors what he does with Johnny and the guinea pig, that eventually destroys the hotel, albeit unintentionally this time. The face and surrounding wave pattern on the central part of the stone's engraving is a reference to the secret entrance to the ruins of Atlantis from the third Hotel Transylvania movie. Come on, Drake, join in! There's the uh, ear uh, uh, huh? Why are we going so slowly? Johnny Flintstone. Taxi! <laughs> In the scene where Dracula and Johnny arrive in South America to order to find the crystal, they both have to board a bus to the Amazon. Johnny's monstrous size quickly becomes a problem as it slows the bus down. This is when he does something hilarious. He picks up the bus and begins to run with it. We recognize that this scene is not a nod to the classic old school animation, the Flintstones, where Fred and Barney often moved their crude cars with foot power. Oh mighty king, it is with all my heart that I accept this great honor. The Sun Shields. Okay Johnny, please still be in there. At some point, Johnny eventually learns that Dracula lied about not being able to leave the hotel to him. He is enraged that he didn't need to become a monster, which makes him transform into a larger and much scarier version of himself. In this rage, he almost destroys the crystal cave while the others are still inside. As the walls begin to fall, the sun rays enter the cave. The whole gang has to make a conscious effort to shield Mavis from the sun, and this is a callback to show Dracula was shielded from the sun as he made his way to save Johnny at the end of the first movie. Similarly, Mavis needed to get to Johnny so that she could turn him into a human again, with the help of the crystal that they had found. Seeing that this might be the last Hotel Transylvania movie, we love this full circle moment. That was only the beginning, Drac! Huh? You just sit back and enjoy your anniversary party! Did you catch any of these secrets, or is there something else that you would like to add to the list? Let us know in the comment section. Do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel as well, and hit the notification bell. That you are part of the family. My family. I can't believe it took becoming a human to finally realize it.